Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. What God told me about Oshibajo's helicopter crash, says Adiboye. The general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Enoch Adeboye has revealed what led him into praying for Vice President Yemi Oshibaju shortly before the helicopter crash in February. He and his team survived in Kaba, Kugi State. Preaching at the Holy Ghost service of the church 67th annual convention with the theme, and God said, on Friday, Mr. Adeboye said, it happened during the February Holy Ghost Congress of the church, which the Vice President was late to attend. Mr. Oshibaju attended the event alongside Governors Udo Emmanuel of Akwaibom, Jide Sonwolu of Lagos, and Godwin Obaseki of Edo State, using the incident to illustrate the passage that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper as part of God's promises to his children. The cleric said he was in his prayer room when God whispered to him that his son was in danger. I got the message, but I didn't know how to present it, he said. He was going around on political campaign, so I didn't know how to stop him. I also didn't want him to be scared, so I resorted to praying for him. The general overseer said he prayed for two minutes, repeating, Father, protect your son, four times. In his own testimony earlier this year, Mr. Oshibajo had said that he did not understand why the pastor would repeat the prayer for him. In February, a helicopter that flew the vice president and his team to Kaba in Kogi State crashed, landed, but all the passengers and crew on board escaped on horse. Mr. Deboe's sermon, which was mainly decreased, commands and prayers on God's promises, was one of the many high points of Friday night during the one-week convention. The two large auditoriums for all this for adults at the redemption camp and a children's hall overflowed with some people sitting on the floor outside. With the 3 million seating capacity of the old auditorium and 6 million for the new 3 km by 3 km auditorium, an estimated 6 million adults must have attended Friday's evening plenary of the convention. Everywhere one looked, there were seas of aid. There was a huge turnout too during prayers for babies born in the last 12 months to barren mothers. Happy dancing mothers streamed to the altar after streamed to the altar area until pools of thousands of mothers were formed in both auditoriums. See how many homes were there was weeping over barrenness have been thrown into joy because they came to Jesus and we cried to him. Now see their joy. Mr. Adeboye who confirmed he loves babies, said that, said and led the congregation to pray for them. There were similar numbers when Reverend Joe Olaya, who preached the first message, made the altar call. Mr. Olaya noted as the only one who makes such calls, even when Pastor Debo is at the camp, stressed the importance of salvation from the word of sin. Sin puts under the authority of the devil any religion to help you must have dominion over sin devil and death he said seas of people were everywhere and this may have been why a young man desiring to to get as close to pastor Deboy as possible for whatever reason breached security and protocol in the altar area for vips he was promptly driven back but recalling how the friends of a sick man broke the roof of a house to reach Jesus, the general overseer asked the young man to be brought to him. He prayed for him and allowed him to go join the congregation. In his main sermon, based on how God spoke the word into existence in the book of Genesis, Pastor Deboy reminded the congregation about the power of God's word and the need to hearken diligently to every bit of it. He recalled that after creation, the world was without form, but God said, let there be light, and there was light. There, the interference, the inference from that, according to Pastor Deboe, is that God's, God's words provides orderliness and 
erases confusion and darkness, accelerates progress and bring about fullness and fruitfulness. Let there be light also means let joy begin, he added. Quoting from similar words of God, he said, When God first spoke to man after creation in Genesis 1, 27 to 28, he blessed him. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the head and subdue it and have dominion over the flesh of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Elaborating the implication of the blessing, he said with all forces in heaven and on earth, see to it that the blessed succeed. Angelic forces also step in and one cannot be caused. Also being fruitful and multiplying means one will increase rapidly, while replenished means an overflow. God is more than enough, so blessing you means he will provide all your needs, he said, God will also promote you, and because he has the final say, when he opens a door, no one can shut it, and similarly, doors he shuts cannot be opened. At every point, Pastor Deboye led congregational prayers and issued a decree. Towards the end, he opened the altar area for people to pray there for what they wished God to do for them this year. After that, he announced he anointed handkerchiefs of the congregation like he always done. He waved his hands from the pulpits as people waved their handkerchiefs frantically at him. There had been several testimonies of people using the anointed handkerchiefs to perform miracles. Earlier, his wife, Folu Adeboye, led congregational prayer for all the nations and their leaders after an American bishop, I.D. Pierce, had preached a sermon on the power of God's word stressing repeatedly that there is enough power in the word of god to make the word come to pass the praise and worship session was electrifying with a large number of people dancing ecstatically in all directions wow this is uh this is good uh in in a nutshell what uh, the boy is saying is that you know it's good to pray you know it's also as a result of prayer that god reveals to him uh, what was about to happen, but he didn't really know the direction. And at the end of the day, to sum everything up, you know, he prayed for the for the vice president, and uh, we thank God that that thing did not really happen. The crash did not happen, and nobody was hurt because it would have been a disaster, honestly, if it had happened, because it was like uh, two months before election or a month before election, you know, a lot of insinuations, people were like, wow, this, that, and everybody started saying, you what? They felt and what they thought, you know, could have caused that. And up until now, I don't think there's any investigation, you know, bringing out what really happened, because uh, for 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 a vice president, president, a start, a person with that kind of status, you know, flying that kind of helicopter, they would have serviced it. It's not just anyhow a helicopter, and something must have gone wrong. Whether it was a mistake from. Uh, the company that owns the helicopter because I, I learned that it is not a government helicopter. But at the end of the day, they said they formed, you know, everything that happens in Nigeria is all about, you know, committee set up, you know, to investigate. But at the end of the day, we don't really, uh, yeah, we didn't hear much. But the most important thing is that the vice president is alive and the team also. And like Adeboy is saying, everything, you know, he prayed about it and got really answered him so i don't know what you guys think about uh, this uh, revelation if there's anything you want to talk about you know they talked about uh, a lot of things that happened at the camp you know testimonies blessing preaching you know trying to clarify and to, to address the meaning of you know one being blessed by god you know various ways in which god can bless and a lot of people came you know were with testimonies and all of that people looking for the fruit of the womb and at the end of the day, got all of those things. But at the end of the day, everything is all about prayer. I would like to hear your opinion concerning this. Please leave down your comments in the comment section. Let us rub minds together. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>